All right, so today what we're gonna do is try to save some money with these Black Friday deals. Like, is Black Friday even Black Friday anymore? You know what I mean? Like, all these deals are even happening already and they have been for a couple of days. So anyways, I wanna share some of these with you guys and hopefully we can uh, save some money. So anyways, grab yourself a beverage, let's sit back and let's save some money. And I'm gonna break this down into multiple categories. We'll do headsets, we'll do mice, we'll do keyboards, monitors, yada, yada. And I'll have a timestamp down below because I'm sure this is gonna be pretty long. Got a lot of good deals here. So number one, we're gonna start it off with headsets here and kicking it off with the SteelSeries Arctic 3. And as you notice, this says Arctic 3 Console Edition. The only difference between the Console Edition and the uh, non-console edition is it don't come with a splitter just letting you know right now but at 39.99 40 bucks for this yo that's a stinking steal right there it's an awesome headset great balanced sound amazing comfort i love it at 40 bucks that's stinking awesome right there again for console or pc now while we're on the topic of steel series as you see i just clicked on the arctics pro on amazon and the sales aren't active there yet they must be waiting until actual black friday but whenever you go over to steel series website right now Let's go on and how do we clear this out? You can see they have the Black Friday uh, 2021 sale already. You can click shop now and they have the stuff on sale. You can see the Arctic Pro with Game Deck to 159. Yo, that's a deal right there. That's an awesome headset. That really is. Arctic 7 at 99, 7P at 99. What else do they got here? The Pro without the DAC, the Prime down to 69. Definitely a nice first person shooter headset at 70 bucks. So we're seeing some really good deals over here on the Steel Series website for their headsets. Now, again, during Black Friday, I'm sure these will all transition over to uh, Amazon and whatnot. But heck, right now, we got them up here on uh, Amazon. And all the links for all of this will be right down in the description, whether it be Amazon, Steel Series, or another uh, website right there. So, again, Sales active on Steel Series right now, but not on Amazon. Well, I actually did just find another one here, the Steel Series Arctic's one at 38. So before it was shown the PlayStation version, now shown the Xbox version. Let me tell you what, guys, they're all the exact same. They all connect by 3.5. No matter which one you get, they're gonna work on every single platform. Again, they go 3.5. So 38 bucks for these, not a bad deal. I still like the three is better. But if you're more into this kind of design without the ski band, 38 bucks, not a bad deal right here. All right, so now diving into some Razer deals here. And I have a sheet, top secret info here, and pretty much all these deals are active right now. And that's kicking it off with the Razer Black Shark V2 Pros right here at 130. Yes, sir, sign me up. That is an awesome deal on an awesome headset. Now, do they also have it? Let's check if the white one. Oh, yes. Yo, the white one is 130 as well. I can't say enough. The comfort of this headset is stinking awesome. The sound is awesome. Definitely a little more bass, a little warmer of a sound right there. But it's all, you can get into the EQ and tune it up and everything. At 130, yo, this headset's stinking fantastic. It's PlayStation and all that stuff. You can't use it wirelessly on the Xbox, but everything else. Um, the rest are the wired ones right there. While we're on it, let's go on and check. So, so again, the V2 Pro Wireless. Yo, hands down, if you've been looking at them, great deal. V2X, these are the um, USB ones. Am I thinking about that right? Or are these the 3.5? 3.5, okay, 3.559. What are these not marked down yet? Yo, V2X at 35 bucks. I love it. Yo, that's a, whew, that is awesome. I'm gonna add that on my list. Might get one of those for my son. That That's a, let me just add that to cart right now. Yo, that's a great deal right there. 70 bucks for the USB. It's, it's pretty much the exact same thing. It's like that middle point from the V2X and the V2 Pro. You got these in the middle right there. You got the little dongles, USB. I don't know. I mean, they're good. They sound amazing. They sound hands down amazing, but I wouldn't use them like, cause yeah, you can run them PS4 or PS4, PS5, you know, USB. But only if you're on PC would I look at this over the V2X. If you're on console, I'd go with the V2X, if that makes sense. I mean, the V2 Pros are my favorite, but these are awesome right here. 70 bucks, not bad if you want the extra extra kick of boost. If you're on PC, I'd say. Yeah, you can use them on console, but I'd say just PC. Awesome headset right here, though, for sure. Next Razer headset is the Razer Barracuda X. We're going to have a lot of Razer headsets here because Razer's come out with so many headsets recently, and a lot of them have been fantastic with their Triforce drivers, whether it be the 40 or the 50s. Right here with the Barracuda X, I stink and love this headset. It looks awesome. It's comfortable. 
Now they got the black ones at 70 bucks, regularly 100 bucks. Razor Kraken Ultimate. Now these are these are the old ones. They just came out with the new ones. Okay, they just came out with the new Krakens. These are the older ones at 59 bucks. Yo, that's not. The Krakens have never been my favorite headset. It's a good headset. It's definitely more focused on highs, and that's a lot of what you get. Are the green ones on sale too? Yo, 49 bucks. It's a solid headset at that price point for sure. Like just the build quality and everything, the all around quality of it. But I do like the newer ones a lot better. So, and I the new ones just came out. So I doubt we'll see them on Black Friday, but not, not, a, not a bad find right there. Yo, look at this. I'm on the Amazon ad that Oliver conducts and all that. Yo, that's so cool. All right, so here we have the Razer Kraken X. This is like the budget line of it. The all plastic, the attached cable, attached uh, microphone. It's a decent headset. Usually in the standalone price at 50 bucks, I'd say, you know, talking MSRP, that's kind of where it stood. But now it's Black Friday deals at 30 bucks. I'm not saying it's bad, but it's not great. With all the other headsets, we got it like, 35 or 40 i'd say yo spend the extra 10 bucks and get that but at 30 bucks if you're just looking for something and you got 30 bucks not a horrible option all right here's another one i really like right here the razor kyra pros you all know i love this headset finally something for xbox right wireless uh, the green accents whatever it's xbox it's razor you know you got detachable mic it connects wirelessly just like a controller now they did just recently coming out some other colors are they yeah they're not they got the halo yo the halo looks so good the the uh playstation version okay so it's just a classic black and green that's on sale for 70 bucks i love it that is an absolute steal if you play on xbox and you're looking for that good wireless headset this is hands down recommend you can take advantage of atmos on there a sonic sound you can also dive into the razor software on the xbox you don't have to mess with pc Yo, this is awesome on Xbox. You can tweak the RGB and the EQ right through the Xbox app. I can't recommend this headset enough. It's comfortable. It's built great. It looks great. The green, eh, eh yeah, yeah, you know what? I don't want green in my setup, right? <laughs> but anyways, at 70 bucks, the sound and the comfort, the core aspects of the headset, it gets the job done for sure. All right, so that's going to wrap it up on the Razer headsets. We're going to swing over to Corsair headsets, and I'm going to share something with you guys real quick here. As far as also on Corsair's website, they got 15% off everything. It sounds like a commercial, right? Seriously, I'm just sharing the deals with you. I don't even know if I have affiliate links to Corsair's website. Anyways, right? They got 15% off everything site-wide, and then 20% off refurbished products, excluding systems. Um, the 15% off is with code BF2021. Again, this isn't an ad plugger. Right? I'm not getting paid for this. Just letting you guys know, trying to save some money right here. Again, I don't even know if I have affiliate links. I need to ask them if I got affiliate links to their website. But anyways, code BF2021, you get 15% off site-wide. I don't know if the prices are going to differ any from over here on Amazon, but let's see what we got. And kicking it straight out of the gate, we have the Corsair HS35, an awesome budget headset at stage one at 40 bucks on sale for 30 bucks seeing a lot of 30 dollar 30 to 40 dollar deals here right i like this headset at, at 30 bucks my son actually mains this headset when he plays switch and he says it's incredibly stinking cozy you know and the sound is nice it's a nice balanced sound as well coming right down to the corsair hs60 pros right here it's nice to see them have the pros on sale already now you can probably find maybe the basic hs60 we'll see through here they might be a little bit cheaper but the pros make that much of a difference it really do they really beefed up the pads and everything they just go with the pros instead of the regular ones for sure let's see if the uh these are the pro surround hs60 pro 39 yo was the yellow one cost more 49 okay hold up go with the straight black one it's 40 bucks right here all right now the corsair virtuoso this is the virtuoso rgb se so it's the one with the beefed up microphone and everything at 170, regular MSRP at 210. Not a bad deal, really not. Now, if we go down to some of the, um, not the SE, just the regular Virtuoso, they're gonna be even cheaper at 140. Not bad at all. You just get the lower grade microphone, you still get the same build and everything. Both of them are awesome headsets. Now, the ear cushions kind of clamping force on these guys is it's a, it's a little tight, it's a little much you know smaller ear cushions and everything but all in all it's definitely a premium headset it really is I, I like these prices but what i want to check is what i like the best is the xt's okay the xt's are on sale they're still expensive 
250, regular MSRP at 270. So you get, you get a lot of beef up on this. You get that beefier microphone. They definitely up the ante on the comfort here. Bigger ear cushions, bigger padding. But you're talking a significant price difference. So 250, okay, so the XTs are on sale. Let's get that out of the way. Great headset, still expensive. I think they're worth 250 though, I do. But let's go back down here and look at the SEs. 169, so you're talking, yo, that's a big price difference, right? Unfortunately, the notice there's no replacement ear cushions that I have used that are worthy of recommending yet. And that's probably the biggest fault of the standard ones is the ear, the ear cushions. It's not deal breaking, but it's not, you know, my favorite right there. So anyways, the Virtuosos are on sale. Kind of decipher that. Go watch the reviews and you can break it down right there. Now we also have the HS70s on sale. Regular MSRP 100 down to $74. These are the wireless ones, which is also a great deal. The, the HS line from Corsair is awesome. It's just very rugged, very sturdy, just built like a stinking tank, like a lot of Corsair products, right? Now that's the wireless one right there at 74 bucks, regularly 100. I wanna see what the Bluetooth version is. Okay, I like this right here. This is regularly 100 bucks down to 80 bucks. Now the HS70 Bluetooth, these are not wireless. These are actually connected by USB. Let me make sure I'm thinking right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So these are connected by USB and then you have the Bluetooth feature on them, which I really like, you know, cause you just plug it in and you got the access to Bluetooth if you want or not right there. Down to 80 bucks. So it's a wired Bluetooth headset, if that makes sense. So you still get calls, listen to music, do your Discord, whatever. Really, really like this headset right here. HS80, yo, they're on sale. The HS80s are on sale. You all know I recommended this headset high and low. I stink and love it. I love everything about it. The comfort, the sound, the build, the style. 119, regularly 115 or 150. The microphone on this guys is maybe the best, hands down the best microphone we tested on a gaming headset. It's awesome. At 120 bucks, guys, I love this headset and I highly recommend it. Highly recommend it here. Um, is the savings dramatic? I would love to see about 100 bucks, but still at 120, not bad, not bad, still a deal. Love this HS80 from Corsair. All right, now let's go on and take a look at HyperX headsets right here. So we're gonna start it off with the Cloud Stinger at 30 bucks. Now this headset goes to 30 bucks quite often. I wouldn't necessarily say this is like a crazy Black Friday deal. Um, you see that around this price, it's a great headset at 30 bucks. It really is. Again, a lot of these headsets are 30 bucks. You got a lot to decipher through, but the uh, Cloud Stinger has awesome sound, great comfort and everything. 3.5 right at, don't even worry about the 7.11. We're not even gonna look at it because that just go with the 3.5 one. At 30 bucks, not bad. Now taking a look at the HyperX Cloud 2s right here. Uh, regular MSRP 100 down to 79 bucks. Now I think the red ones are usually cheaper than that's 78 bucks, okay, so maybe not. So anyways, not bad, a little bit of savings. Again, we see a lot of HyperX sales throughout the year anyways. Um, but anyways, 78, so pretty, both of them are 79. 78, 99, 79 bucks, the grays or the reds. A great headset still to this day. This headset's been out forever, but it's still a great headset. Let's see if the wireless is on sale. Okay, so the wireless is on sale, regular 150 down to 130. Again, not a, not a massive savings, but still savings is savings, right? And that is a good deal. The, the Cloud 2 wireless are awesome. The only thing I found faulty on them, especially on like the console, is the volume was just a little bit lower than I personally would prefer. Maybe I have bad ears, I don't know. But I just felt like the volume was a little bit lower. But if you were checking them out, Again, you got uh, 20 bucks worth of savings right there. Next up, we have the HyperX Cloud Alphas. Regular MSRP 100 down to 60 bucks. I love the Alphas. They're stinking awesome. They really are. Definitely a little more uh, detailed, but the one, the Alphas that really stand out to me are the Alpha S. And I have this one right here. Click on it. Here we go. The They got the black or the blue. They're going to be the same price. The black and blue or the black on black, right? I think the black on black just looks awesome. At 80 bucks, regular MSRP 130. Again, if you go alphas, I highly recommend you go alpha S. I, I just do. They just, again, have a little bit more clarity in them right there. I believe they have multiple notches to bring out that sound in the back compared to the regular. So if I'm thinking about that right, 80 bucks for these. Let's just check the blue one. Okay, so the blue one's the same at $79.99 for the alpha S, the black on black or the black on blue. The black on black just looks awesome. It does. Now, this is a great deal right here. The HyperX Cloud X. It's kind of like the budget version of the Cloud 2s, but you still get that same great sound of 
the Cloud 2s, it's, it's like you just don't get all the accessories. As you can see, we can pull it over here, you get your headset and your mic. And the Cloud 2s, I don't know if they're still doing this, but they used to get like a spare set of ear cushions, multiple cables, you got a bag. You just got a plethora of accessories. The Cloud X, you still get that same great build, that same comfort, iffy, you know, up, up to you if you like it or not, but the same great sound. And at 39 bucks, like this is, this is awesome right here. This is a tank of a headset. Replace them ear cushions with some of them wicked cushions I always talk about, and you'll be sound as a pound right there. This is awesome at 40 bucks. Now the Cloud Flights are also on sale down to 120 from 140. An awesome headset. I, I seriously love this headset. The Comfort has a full swivel. I like this better than the Clouds, my personal opinion. You know, number one, it's wireless, right? But, but anyways, an awesome headset here. Great controls. Again, great comfort and great sound. All right, so now let's take a look at Turtle Beach headsets. And I don't see all of their headsets on sale yet, like the 600s and 700 Gen 2s. I don't see those on sale yet. I would have liked to see a little bit of discount on those. Maybe that'll be coming soon because those are great headsets. I really hope they put those on sale. Uh, but they do have the two, the uh, Recon 200 Gen 2s. The 200s are awesome. They just made them even better with the Gen 2s. At 45 bucks, yo, this headset punches. It's great for console because it's got like a built-in amp. You got to charge them, but you can power it on. And this sound is just like, wow. This was the best 3.5 headset you can get on PlayStation 4 because 3.5 was low. The volume was low on PS4. But these guys really punched it. This is an awesome headset at 45 bucks. It, it definitely has a serious punch for a 3.5 headset. The Gen 1s were real tight on the clamping force. They fixed that with the Gen 2s. The comfort's much better on the Gen 2s here. Next headset I want to show you, which is awesome. This one I really, really like. The Recon 500s. Yo, this headset is, mmm. It's built great. The comfort's awesome. I mean, the cushions could be a little bit softer, if I remember correctly. And the mute button. I just didn't like the mute button right there. That was probably the one thing I really didn't like. I believe they also have, yeah, the camo version. Okay, the camo version isn't on sale. So we're gonna have to go with the black version. 40, $48 right here, 3.5 works on every device. The sound on these guys are awesome for a range of games. First person shooter story games. This headset's really cool. Yo, the controller, do they got a, the controller combo on sale? Oh no, the, yo, they do. Okay, so it's just the black one. 107 bucks for the con, for the controller and the headset. This controller is stinking awesome. I love this control. It's got the little paddles on the bottom right there that just flow with your hand. I'm getting off track of headsets. This combo is really sweet. If you need a new controller, you got to try that. Plus, you get the awesome headset with it. Now, they also have the Turtle Beach Elite Pro 2s on sale down to $114.13. Weird price right there, you know, um, 12%. So, it's not a massive discount, but this headset, I love it. The cushions are so big and plush. They're like silky on the outside and then pleather on the inside. So they lock in right there and they're really comfortable. And the build of this headset is stinking awesome. I like it. I'd like to see it at 99. I think I've seen it at 99 before. Um, so we'll keep an eye on this one as well. 114, it's not bad. It's a great headset. It's worth the regular MSRP. It really is. I love this headset. I know a lot of people like to hate on Turtle Beach because they're past. They've come a long way and really changed. And this is the prime example. This headset here is stinking awesome. All right, so now let's go ahead and jump into like Logitech and Astro. Their headsets, they have the 840s on sale for $199, regular MSRP $250. Um, these go on sale for $199 a lot, quite a bit. And it's a great headset. I love this headset so much. The great sound. It's plug and play. And I believe the 850s, you go watch my review, but if I remember correctly, this headset works on every platform, even PS5, even though it says Xbox. If you buy the Xbox version, it works on every platform. The Mac, the PC, the PS5, and the Series X right there, and the sound is awesome. The build is great. Awesome headset at 199 I stink and love it. Unfortunately, the 50s, if anybody's looking for the wireless one, the 50s are not on sale. I want to say yet, but I don't even know if they're gonna. Um, hopefully, we see a little bit of a discount on those right there. All right, so swing it over to Logitech. We have the G733. This headset's so cozy, guys. It has awesome sound, a amazing build. Hands down, one of the most comfortable headsets I've ever used. The only thing I didn't like is that RGB on the front because it would reflect into my glasses right here. Or maybe if you're in a dark room, it might reflect off your screen, you know. 121 bucks, a good deal. It's, it's an awesome headset. It's hands down an awesome headset. Easily right there, the G733. Coming right on down, they have the uh, Logitech G Pro, G Pro X for 94, regularly 130. I can't say it enough, guys. The sound of this headset is awesome. It is so good. The build of this headset's amazing. It's just like HyperX, you know? 
The comfort of this headset is iffy, just like HyperX, but comfort's personal preference, right? I just wish there was more swivel. Here's a good one right here, the Logitech G335. This is just like the 733, if I'm getting my numbers right here. The same thing, you don't have the RGB and it's 3.5. As you're catching on, I love 3.5 headsets. You know, even though I main wireless most of the time, you know, it's just like you just get such good savings going 3.5, whatever. $50 right here. I like it. I think all the colors, sweet. So all the other colors are on sale is for 50 bucks as well. Not bad. Yeah, that white is hot. Even though I'm not a blue fan, this is the color I have. This goofy green. But 50 bucks, not bad. If you're looking for that really just cozy, cozy, cozy headset, this is awesome. 3.5. Again, every device, your mobile device any platform. Okay, so as we just looked, the G Pro X wireless wasn't on sale, the regular one, but the shroud one that I talked about is on sale for 150. Yo, I would go this route right here. Uh, I don't know if any of us are really fond of having someone's name on the outside of your headset. Heck, slap a sticker over it, get some paint or something to paint over if you don't like it. You know, I don't know if you can take it off. I've used the regular ones, not the shroud edition, but 150. This is an awesome deal. Yo, guys, I needed to get a drink. I'm getting all dried up here, right? This is a regular G Pro I was talking about, not the X version. The difference is you get the software with the X, the blue software on the G Pro regular one you don't. It's only $10 difference, so I don't know. I would have rather see a bigger difference, price difference on this right here. I still go back to the Shroud wireless one. Just get the wireless one, guys. Go mow an extra lawn if you need to and get the wireless. But again, at 90 bucks, this isn't a bad deal. All right, so now let's go ahead and take a look at mice right here. Kicking it off with the Logitech G Pro X Superlight. It's on sale for 130, regular MSRP 150, which was heavy in the first place. This mouse is great. I had some issues with it after a while. A lot of people said they fixed some of the issues. I don't know, 130, it's a good deal right here. <clears throat> Yo, it's just like super scratchy down here. I don't know if I'm just talking too much, right? Anyways, Logitech G Pro X Superlight. I don't really need to say much about it. I'm sure you all know about it. 130 bucks. Logitech G502 Hero is down to 40 bucks from $80 right here. I like the wireless version of this, which we'll get to. We'll see what it is. Um, but if you're just looking for a budget around $40, you have it right here. Awesome, all the buttons on it. I was really enjoying this mouse on like New World and stuff. A lot of people use it for first person shooters too with all the buttons. Um, anyways, 40 bucks, not a bad grab. All right guys, side plug here, not really gaming, the Logitech MX, MX Master. I know a lot of you have probably used this mouse, but if you haven't, this is a mouse you need to try. Like if you're working or doing schoolwork, yo, this mouse is so stinking cozy. It like fits like a stinking glove. Like if you're editing or something, it's heavy, but it, it just seriously, no joke lies. It's like a glove. Your hand just like cuffs onto it, you know? At 70 bucks, this is stinking awesome. Now we have the ever so popular Logitech G305. Like, I think we all know about this mouse, right? The really cool thing is that every single different color is on sale for $30. I like that. This purple one's really cool. I like that a lot. But anyways, a wireless mouse, it uses batteries, but all of them are on 30 bucks. That's a great grab right there. I really like that at 30 bucks, guys. All right, so here we go. The 502, the wireless version. I thought it would be on sale, and it is on sale for $100, down from 150. Not bad. Uh, again, I just tested this mouse myself, playing New World. I really enjoyed it. The build is awesome. It's a heavy mouse, so whoo, it is heavy. But it's a good multi-purpose mouse for working, gaming, first-person shooter, MMOs, any type of thing like that. It's a really fun mouse. It really is. 100 bucks. It's an awesome mouse. It really is an awesome mouse. At $100. All right, the Logitech G703 is on sale for $59.99, 60 bucks, regular MSRP at 100 bucks. If you've never used this mouse, scoop this mouse up and try it. This mouse is stinking awesome. I think the only downfall for me is like the hump is more like an egg rather than maybe say, I don't know, a potato or something, right? Because it kind of shoots up like this for the hump, really sharp. It's not more plump like uh, EC, Zowie EC. It's not plump, it's more of a hump if that makes sense. And it kind of catches me in the palm, but I love the mouse. I really do. I hope they make an updated version. I really hope they, Logitech updates this. At 60 bucks, guys, this is a mouse you got to try. The scroll wheel's awesome. Yo, I'm going to have to bust this mouse out and use it today. I stink and love it. 60 bucks, guys. Give this mouse a shot. All right, next up is one that sits in a hard spot for me, the Logitech G903 Wireless. I used to love this mouse. It was just such a fun mouse to use. Again, talk about multi-purpose. I used to use this for a lot of working, a lot of editing and stuff. You know, it just, and it just felt great. It really did. It's down to 85 bucks from 150. Now, 
just to be straight with you guys, the reason that says it sits in a hard place for me is because mine went faulty. I think it was my right click. Anyways, one of my one and twos wouldn't register anymore. They just wouldn't work, you know? So it's kind of, did I have a faulty copy? I don't know. I'm letting you guys know straight up. Mine became faulty on me. So I guess try at your own risk, maybe buy the extended warranty. I like the mouse at 85 bucks, but buy at your own risk. I got to put that in there. Now we also have the regular Logitech G Pro wireless on sale from 100 bucks, regularly from 130 right there. The G Pro X was what, 130? So you're looking at a $30 price difference. Is that weight necessarily important? I, I don't know. The Logitech G Pro regular feels fantastic for me. Does the G Pro Superlight feel a little bit better? Yeah, but I'm not crazy about weight, you know what I mean? The regular G Pro is good as well, so if you're crazy about weight, go with the Superlight. If, you know, you can handle a little bit of a little bit of weight because this mouse isn't heavy, just go with the G Pro at 100 bucks. All right, so taking a look at SteelSeries mice, again, not many of their sales are active here. This is pretty much just on SteelSeries website now. Probably give it Black Friday and all the sales will be active on Amazon as well. So that's your preferred shopping method, which is mine as well. You know, it's just quick and easy. But there are a few active right here. They have the Aerox 3. Now, this is Aerox 3. They just came out with the 2020 version, which has different feet. So this is the older version at 60 bucks. Yeah, that's a serious discount right there. But I know they came out with the 2020 version where they changed the feet. It's a solid foot on top and bottom in their PTFE, um, which should probably be just like the Ghost, which more than likely isn't on sale. But yeah, they're going to show the feet right there. So it's up to you if you want to wait for the new one. I doubt the new one will go on sale, but 60 bucks for that's not too shabby. All right, so taking a look at Corsair mice, they have the Scimitar, Scimitar, I'm probably saying that completely wrong. Regular MSRP of 80 bucks down to 50 bucks right here. This is awesome mouse. Again, I just tested this on New World. Great mouse, horrible cable. Now the Elite and the Pro, the Pro's not marked down much right here is really just the elite one that is marked down. Now they have this Nighthawk marked down from 60 bucks to 80 bucks. I usually don't recommend things I haven't used because I haven't used the Night Nighthawk, Night Sword. I haven't used this one, so I'm not necessarily recommended. I'm just bringing it to your attention. I personally want to try it. I know it's probably heavier. Now this is the wired version. I want to find the wireless version. Um, let me know your thoughts on this down in the comments. Is it worth a pickup? Because again, I just want to try it just as a fan myself. But before we get to that, taking a look at the Sabre RGB Pro, this mouse took a lot of heat from some people, right? I love it. I still use the Pro Wireless. Is it on sale? Okay, regular 109 down to 80 bucks. I still use this mouse daily on my Mac. I just love it. It, it fits for me. It fits perfect. It really fits great. It's lightweight. I honestly love the mouse. I don't know why I caught a lot of slack. If you want to just give it a shot, Maybe start with this Sabre Pro. It has no RGB or anything. It's kind of bare bones right there, which is honestly the way I like it. And then it's only 35 bucks. Come up here if you want some RGB, you get the 45 bucks or the wireless. I use the wireless one right now. But if you want to just try the shape out, just as a mouse lover, a tech fan, start with that Pro. Trust me, this is a mouse you need to get in your hand, right? It's, man, it's such an awesome mouse. And it hurts that it didn't catch as much traction because... I, for one, really enjoy the mouse. And again, still use it daily, the wireless version. Here we go. The Dark Core RGB, not a big sale, 9% off. Like, yo, how about the QI? QI charging? No. Okay. So it's just the standard one here, 73 bucks from 79. I want to see a bigger sale, but I want to try this mouse. Yo, it's missing that front button as the Night Sword, Night Hawk, whatever it was called. Okay, so we're a little bit different here. Give me your guys' feedback down below. Should I pick this up? I'm really debating it, right? I really want to try that one out. Now, the Corsair Iron Claw is down to $32.21 from $60. Bucks. I've dabbled with this mouse. I didn't use it too much. My only downfall with this mouse, like I love this shape. It's just girthy. It's Everything's big. The buttons, the shape, everything's big. The only thing I didn't like is that back. You see back by the thumb? It's... Uh, right there those grips they're not mushy and i grip my mouse harder so it started hurting my fingers it's a fun mouse but for someone like me where i grip a lot harder it, it was painful let's see as the wireless the wireless isn't on sale all right so jumping over to razor mice starting with the razor viper ultimate at 70 bucks this is without the dock this is just a straight up mouse i've said it before this mouse is great with issues 
right? The biggest issue for me is the side buttons. I just wish they sticked out a little bit more. I got some lizard skins and dabbed on the outside and I loved it. It's great right there. 70 bucks is an awesome wireless mouse. Um, they also have the wired one, which is probably, okay, so the white one's not on sale. Yo, is that Cyberpunk one on sale? It's not. So, okay, so we just got the black one right there. Okay, so the Viper Mini wired down to $29.60. This mouse is at $30 bucks quite often. It's a great mouse. It's too small for me, but if you like a smaller mice, this mouse is stinking awesome. You can't, you can't say enough about it. The Viper AK, I believe this is on sale. $40, 50% off on the AK. This mouse, I reviewed it, I loved it, I played great with it. I don't know if it was just messing with my head. I have a decent system. I think I'm running an i9 with a 3080 and absolute ridiculous amount of RAM. And I felt the difference in Call of Duty. Call of Duty being a more demanding game. I play at 1440p. I felt a little bit difference. I noticed a difference in my performance. It was mild, but it was enough to really notice. If you got a good beefy system, Try this mouse. Now the Razer Death Adder V2 is to 35 bucks from $70. An awesome deal. If you've never used a Death Adder, if you're still stuck on your old Death Adder, get this Death Adder. It is stinking awesome. It's wired, yeah, but it's lightweight for such a big plump mouse. It's lightweight. It's awesome at 35 bucks. It really is. I, they came off the Halo one. I doubt that's on sale because it just came out. Yeah, they don't even have it. But anyways, guys, I can't say enough. At 35 bucks, this mouse is awesome. Now, they also have the Razer Death Adder Essentials at $20. I've never used this mouse. And like I stated, I don't like recommending stuff I haven't used. But I want to bring it to your attention at 20 bucks. If you're on a budget, you just can't go wrong with a Death Adder. I'd highly recommend you save up the extra 10, 15 bucks and go with the, the V2. I think you'd be much happier. But 20 bucks, I mean, heck, you just, you just can't go wrong with a death adder. Now, the Naga Pro is on sale for $150 from $199. Comes with the dock right here. Again, I tested this mouse on New World. What an awesome shape. I had some issues with my buttons registering. I think it was the contacts. I kept had to constantly clean them like once a week or something like that, you know? It's such an awesome mouse. It, it really is. If you play MMOs or stuff, it's still up there at 150 bucks. but you get the dock. So maybe you scoop up the Viper, scoop this up, you get the dock right there. Not, not a bad combo right there. Really fun mouse to use. Now the Naga X, this one should be a little cheaper, 50 bucks. Okay, the Naga X, this one's awesome. Regularly 80 bucks down to 50 bucks. Lightweight, big, plump, great for New World, great for MMOs. Um, just an awesome mouse. Yo, the Mamba Elite. On sale from 90 bucks down to 40 bucks. I love this stinking mouse. I love it. The Mamba Wireless is probably on sale as well. Yeah, 53 from 100 bucks. Yo, this mouse is awesome. Still to this day. Razer, please make a V2. You make a V2, V3, V4, V whatever on every other product besides the Mamba. What's the deal? Give us a V2 Mamba here, please. At 40 bucks, guys, I love this mouse. Razer. Razer, 2022, Mamba V2, make it happen. Basilisk-esque right here from 60 bucks down to 35. Now this is the one that, if I'm not mistaken, uses batteries, right? Help me out here, Razer. Yes, so it says right there, 450 hours of battery. Okay, it's, it's an awesome mouse, it really is. 35 bucks, not bad at all. Now, if you wanted to go the fancy route, they have the Basilisk Ultimate here, comes with the dock, RGB, the extra button up there and everything, down to 99 bucks from 170. When this mouse released, I said <coughs> 170 is ridiculous. I, it's just crazy, you know? At 99 bucks, I like it, but they did just come out with a new version, which I doubt is on sale. That's why this one's probably marked down right here. But a great mouse at 99 bucks with the dock is awesome deal. Here we go, guys. Razer Death Adder V2 Pro coming in at 70 bucks from 130. Love the mouse. Stinking love it. Used to stay on my desk all the time. Why I say used to is because I actually switched to the budget one. I forget what it's called. Hopefully we'll find it on here. I doubt it will be discounted because it just came out. But I think the regular price of that one is the same price of this. So... An honest consumer, I would say just get this right now, right? I just switched to the other one because I could just flop a battery. I use it for editing. And sometimes I forget to charge my stuff on my editing. It's just crazy. I charge all my gaming stuff, but not my editing stuff, right? So anyways, that's why I switched right there. But you at 70 bucks. Guys, get it. it. It's awesome. Razer Orochi V2 right here. Down to 45 bucks from 70 bucks. This is what this mouse should have been priced at. Out of the gate. It should have been 45 bucks. 
50 bucks, okay? It should have been 50 bucks, but 45 bucks is an awesome deal. And at this price, I highly recommend it. It's awesome, it's built great. Multiple batteries, it's balanced awesome. You get replaceable shells. Like I stated in my review, guys, this is a price it should have been. 70 bucks was the wrong price for this mouse. It should have been 50, and at 45 bucks, I love the deal. Guys, how many stinking mice does Razer have on sale right here? They probably got the most mice out of every company anyways, right? The Viper Ultimate with dock, 89 bucks. So without the dock, it was <coughs> 70. So you're paying 20 bucks for the dock. I love the dock. It's an awesome convenience. Whoop, slop it right there. Is it needed? No, it's more of a convenience piece. So think about it. if you want that cool little desk piece, then you can have it. You know what I mean? For an extra 20 bucks. But anyway, so we're talking 70 bucks. Without Doc, 90 bucks with Doc. All right, this might close the door on going with Doc right here because they have the white one on sale with the Doc for 90 bucks. I have the white one and it's just a gorgeous mouse. It really is, I, I don't know, corny, cosmetic, right? But anyways, the white one is on sale for 90 as well. Mouse and Doc. All right, guys, so this isn't on sale, but I just wanted to show you what I was talking about before. The Razer Death Adder V2X Hyperspeed. It uses batteries. You got the extra two buttons at the front. Again, I just love it because you can change out the batteries. It's easy for me as far as my workstation. All right, guys, so now taking a look at Rocat mice. They got the Cone Pro Air from $129.99 down to $99. Don't even ask. Get this mouse. I love it. I've been playing a lot of Halo. This mouse is amazing for Halo. I'll be covering that again soon. I used to main this mouse. I still have been getting back to maining it quite a bit. It's an awesome mouse. $100. This is a mouse you need need to try and it is that stinking good guys another mouse that is a need is a rocap burst pro as you're seeing right here regular 60 bucks down to 45 that is the black or the white one yo these mice are stinking amazing the cables are good but they could be better slap a paracord in if you want to beef it up a little bit rocat i hope they make a wireless version of this this is another thing i want to see in 2022 but right now in 2021 at 45 bucks Get both of these Rocat mice and you will thank me later. They are both stinking amazing. I need to bust out my Burst Pro again and dabble with it. These, these Rocat mice are some of the best. Now let's take a look at some HyperX mice. They have the Pulse Fire Haste right here down to 40 bucks from 50. So look at that $10 discount. It's an awesome mouse. It's a little bit bigger. Like if we were looking at the Viper, this is a little bit bigger than the Viper, which is why I really like the Pulse Fire Haste. I also want to see this in wireless right here. At 40 bucks is an awesome mouse. It, it's a great mouse. It really is. Now, I just want to mention this one, the Pulse Fire Dart. This is definitely an underdog mouse. It's it's so cozy. I put it with the Death Adder, kind of like more or less a productivity or work mouse. Down to 65 bucks from 99. It also has QI charging, where you, you know you just set it there and it charges, which is really cool. The side grips on this guys, they're like mushy, like no joke. They're mushy, like your hands just sink into them. An awesome productivity or slower paced, maybe a story game mouse. At 65 bucks, guys, I love this mouse. Now the Pulse Fire Surge is also another good mouse at 35 bucks from 55. The cable on this mouse is garbage. So if you pick this up, make sure you pick up a paracord, slap it on there, you'll be good to go. I don't wanna say it's heavy. It is loftier than some of the other ones we see out there, but it's a really nice balanced full weight right there you know it just fits the hand really nice the side buttons are great easy to decipher this is an awesome mouse i hope they update this mouse because it's a great shape and everything the cable again the cable's garbage on it but at 35 bucks get this get a paracord combine them and i think you're going to be set all right so now diving into keyboards kicking off with the razor black widow v3 tkl now they have the tactile and clicky me personally i'm not a clicky switch fan um that's personal preference but anyways they have it from 100 bucks down to 70 bucks again when i click down here on linear and silent go straight to the full size which is 132 which is seven dollars off so it's not really a big discount me personally, again, I love the linear silent one in the TKL version of this board is awesome. But if you're into tactile clicky switches, you know, 70 bucks, not too bad. And then also the full size V3 is only uh, 90 bucks from 140, which is also, again, not a bad deal. But again, it's tactile and clicky. So if that's your kind of switch, then you have a deal. Now they have the Razer Huntsman Tournament Edition TKL. Um, people have said they made this better when I reviewed it. I couldn't stand it because it was so loud and crazy, but I heard they used the new updated switches, the linear optical ones with the dampeners. I don't know. I haven't used it. I can tell you when I originally reviewed it, I couldn't stand it because it was so loud. People stated it's fixed and it's again, 80 bucks from 130. So that's a good deal, but I can't guarantee it's fixed. If they did fix it, yo, it's a win. If not, 
me personally, again, I couldn't stand it. Now, and that also goes with the Razer Huntsman Mini right here. It's 80 bucks from 120. Same thing, I couldn't stand the board. It was just like, at 120 bucks, I just couldn't recommend it. Now at 80 bucks, if they fixed it and you don't have all that clankiness, that just crazy sound, at 80 bucks, I think that's a good deal, even though I'm not a 60% keyboard fan. You know, if they fixed it, updated those switches at 80 bucks, I think we have a win. Now they also have the Razer Black Widow V3 Mini, the 65% markdown right here, down to 120 bucks, regularly 180. Okay, that's expensive. In my review, I stated it was expensive, but I still love the board. I still recommend the board. I still do to this day. I stink and love it. It's wireless. It's 65% PBT keycaps. It's awesome. The regular MSRP, no joke, guys. 180 bucks is expensive. It really is. At 120 bucks, I love it. I really love this keyboard. Again, the wireless, there's no lag. I didn't experience no lag in the wireless or anything. It's just, it's built great. I personally think it sounds fantastic. And at 120 bucks, guys, I keep going back and back. It's wireless, right? It's wireless. It's built great. I love it at 120 bucks. This keyboard costs some slack as well, which I understand. I get it. 180 bucks is heavy. But right now at 120 bucks, I really like this offer. All right, now let's take a look at Corsair keyboards. And kicking it off with one of my absolute favorite keyboards of this year is the Corsair K100 with the optical switches. 180 bucks, okay? Yeah, I get you. It's sounding expensive, right? Regular MSRP is 230 which it justified the price then, the PPT keycaps, the awesome build, the switches are phenomenal. The features on this keyboard are awesome. They really are. At 180 bucks, I stinking love this keyboard. If you're into full-size keyboards, don't second guess it. You gotta win right here. I hope they make this in TKL. I'm a TKL guy, right? I hope they make this. If they make this keyboard in TKL, hands down, it's gonna be my main. I hope they leave the notch up there with the volume and stuff, but if you like full-size, don't second guess it right now. This keyboard is awesome. And 180, I think, is a great deal. Now, you can get a Cherry MX Silvers at 189. Trust me and go the opticals. They're not too soft, not too fast. It just, it's a great switch. It really is. Now, next up is the Corsair K70 RGB TKL. Kind of just like what I asked for, right? You got the uh, shortcuts up there, your volume, your media, your lighting, PPT keycaps, awesome build, 99 bucks. I love this TKL. Again, it's another, we're catching Corsair cost some slack this year, right? I honestly loved a lot of their products. Now, I will be straight with you. The K70 had a little bit of ping in, a slight bit right there. Nothing deal breaking by any means. I love this keyboard, it's out of the box, an awesome keyboard. Now taking a look at Logitech keyboard, start with the Logitech G Pro. They have it on sale for a hundred bucks from 130. This is not the hot swap version. I believe the hot swap version is just through Logitech right there. It's an awesome keyboard. I, I really like the keyboard, but I think the hot swap one's a little bit cooler. But again, that's straight through Logitech and, I, and it's not on sale right now. And then the Logitech G915 TKL. Yo, I stink and love this keyboard. I love it. Now they have the white one. I've seen the black one. Where do we get to the black one? Do they linear? Let's see if they have the have one set. Okay, so 180 across the board right here. So looking at Steel Series keyboards, the Apex Pro, they only have the full size on sale on Amazon so far, regular 200 down to 163. But plopping over looking at Steel Series website, again, you can see all their stuff is on sale. Heck, if we scroll up, their mice are even on sale, right? But focusing on the keyboards, they have the, where's the Apex Pro TKL? Apex 7's 100 bucks. And then is the Apex Pro TKL not on sale, guys? Yo, Steel Sears, come on. Now you're just being greedy because you know that one's the most popular. Anyway, so you got the full size on sale. You got the Apex 7. If you don't need the switches, you can get the TKL. Yo, that's crazy. Why would they do that and not the TKL just because they know it sells? We got to check this, guys. I don't like that. Apex Pro, TKL, yo. They know it sells, so I guess they're not marking it down, huh? It's still 179 right here. Hey, just get the full size, I guess, if you don't mind full size keyboard. All right, so let's take a look at HyperX keyboards, and we have quite a few good deals here. Starting off with the HyperX Alloy Elite 2. This keyboard is awesome. It comes with the uh, put-in keycaps. The build is stinking, just heavy duty. It is full size, yes. Has all your media controls, your lighting controls on. It's just a tank of the keyboard. It's an awesome keyboard. At 100 bucks, it's it's hands down a deal. It really is. I still have it over there. It's just 
again, it's a great keyboard out of the box. Like I said before, it sounds great. It performs great. Coming on down, we have the HyperX Alloy Origins Core, the TKL, and it's $81, regularly 90 bucks. Not a... Not an amazing deal, but still a good deal, I guess. You're saving like $9, you know? I love the keyboard. It's a great keyboard. Now they got it in the reds. Is that price? Let's see what the aquas are. Okay, aqua's not available. How about the blues? Blues are $89. Um, out of all of them, I really love the reds. The HyperX reds are just amazing. Now let's take a look at the 60% one. That's a fairly new board as well that came out this year. Is it on sale? Okay, $80. Regularly 100 bucks on sale for 80 bucks. This is my favorite big box 60%. Big box. I'm talking like uh, Corsair, Logitech, Razer. This is the best big box 60%. It's a solid build. It's metal. It's got awesome switches. You know, good. Then you come over to full size. The full size is on sale. Just again, another 10 bucks at 100. 100 bucks right there. So my favorite's the 10 keyless, as I stated. But if you're looking for a 60% board, at 80 bucks, the HyperX Alloy Origin 60 is one you need to try. It's just, again, it's a great board. It's a great 60% board. It's Like I stated, it's one of my favorites. All right, guys, so I just spotted this while I was browsing other keyboards, because again, I'm shopping here with you guys, right? And I spotted the Fnatic Mini Streak, and it's 99, it says 100 bucks, regularly 105. This keyboard's been out for a little while, but I, I love it, it's a great keyboard. But they also have save an extra $20 when you apply this coupon right? So you're already getting it down five bucks. You get 25 bucks off, right? That's a great deal. The keycaps are just ABS. So get, get a replacement set of keycaps and you'll be good to go. It's an awesome keyboard. Now this is the Kale Speed Silvers, which are awesome switches. Let me see Silent Reds. Is that on sale as well? Okay. So it's not on sale, but you still get the 20 bucks off on the other style switches, but just go with the Kale Speed Silvers, guys. That, that's an awesome deal. I really like that right there. Again, at 20 bucks, go buy some keycaps and you'll pretty much have like your own little custom board. I like that. That's, a, that's an awesome deal. All right. So the next category I want to cover right here is gaming monitors. I think uh, Black Friday is a great time to jump on some gaming monitor deals because you can get like the higher end monitors for a pretty good deal. Now, the monitors I use are always LG or BenQ. I'm not going to plug every random monitor deal out there because there's a bunch you know, I mean, I like Asus and stuff, but the ones I mainly use are like LG and BenQ. So I'm going to show you a bunch of those. And starting off right here, you can see we got the LG 32GP850-B. Holy moly, that's a mouthful right there. 479 Okay, it's an expensive one. But if you look at the specs right here on the main screen, it's a nano IPS. It's 1440p. It's one millisecond gray to gray. None of that MPRT mumbo jumbo stuff, right? 165 refresh rate right there. At 476, regularly 600 bucks. Yo, those stats right there. I mean, it's just an, an amazing deal. That is phenomenal. I use the older version of this. I believe, I got to check my model number. I believe it's the older version of the specs right here. Exact same specs and everything. I believe mine's only 144 hertz, if I'm not mistaken. Jumping right down here, this is, where is this guy right here? 1080p IPS one millisecond at 240 hertz. So if you're into that, I'm not big into 1080p. I'm definitely 1440p, that's all I game on now. Going back 1080p is kind of tough, but if you like the higher refresh rate, make sure your GPU can push it for whichever game you're playing, and then you can go that. I never really, I always recommend 144 hertz, because I think a lot of people can push that with good graphical Clarity and stuff, 240 hertz, 1080p. Like 1080p is like, ah, 1080p just feels antique to me now. You know what I mean? Okay, so here we go. I believe this is the one I have. I gotta go look at my model number. Um, it's the LG GN800-B, I think. 27 inch, 1440p, one millisecond, gray to gray, 144 hertz, and it's regularly 400 on sale for 276. I believe this is the one I main over there besides my Ben Q, which we'll take a look at. This monitor, I can't say enough guys, at this price, under 300 bucks with those specs, yo, it's fantastic. 1440p at 144 hertz is the sweet spot right now. Your games are gonna look great, they're gonna perform great, you're gonna get your bang for your buck out of the monitor, okay? I'm turning this into like a monitor review, right? But your, your money's gonna be used. You get 240 hertz, you're gonna be like, okay, well I can only play this game and that game. I got to drop my settings down here. With, with this, like, you're going to get all your money out of your specs, if that makes sense. This monitor is awesome, guys. If you ever want to dabble with 1440p and still play a lot of competitive first-person shooters, 
Trust me and try this monitor out. You'll, you'll be back to thank me. Now they also have this one over here, the LG 32 GN650. So it's a 32 inch, so it's gonna be bigger. 165 refresh, one millisecond motion blur reduction, HDR. Now, when you see that, you see the MPRT or Mo MBR, motion blur reduction, it's like on your TV where you got that fake smooth, you know, that's what this is. So I bet the, a uh, gray to gray on this is probably around four or five, maybe a little bit higher underneath 10 though. And it's 276, so same price as the other one. I, I would still recommend the other one because you, 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 most people will look at this and be like, yo, it's 32 inches. Yo, it's 165 Hertz. But the other one just has the better true specs. That's the thing is true specs. You're not getting all this market in one millisecond MBR, you know what I mean? Don't even mess with that stuff. Go with the one with the true specs. But that, if you want something bigger, Maybe a little higher hertz if you're playing like Assassin's Creed story games. That That's not a bad buy right there. Now, I don't know if I showed this previously right there. The 24-inch uh, 1080p, this is more or less a budget competitive monitor. I like to put it 144 hertz, 1080p. I believe I reviewed this one. Um, 176 bucks, 177 bucks. Again, 1080p. Um, one millisecond gray to gray in 144 hertz. Again, I put this as a budget competitive monitor, right? If you're playing first person shooters, some Apex, Call of Duty, whatever it be, PUBG or stuff, it's a great monitor and you're gonna get your money out of your specs. Okay, don't get wrapped up in that 360 hertz, 240 hertz stuff, 144 hertz is perfect. And again, at that price, you're gonna get your bang for your buck. You're gonna use every dollar you put into it and you're gonna get it out of it. I love that right there, 176, under 200 bucks. That's a fantastic deal if you're fine with 1080p. All right, so there we go. Those are all the deals, even the ones we had live on our little secret papers there. And on Amazon, a lot of these will be the same on Best Buy as well, which I'll leave the link down in the description. I'll have all the links for everything we talked about, whether it be from a dedicated site, from Amazon, or from Best Buy or whatever like that. And again, a lot of these sales are active right now. Um, if anything new comes out, I'll keep it updated down in the comments or the description. And then also on my website, stinkingcozy.com. And if anything hot and heavy comes out more or less around Black Friday, whenever the heck that is anymore, you know what I mean? After Thanksgiving, I'll make another video and post it there. But I think we pretty much have everything covered right here. So anyways, thank you so much for stopping by and watching this one. Hopefully it helped you out and hopefully you saved some money. Hope to catch you in the next one. Bye now.